Hey everybody, welcome on this new tutorial about data augmentation in NLP. So as you may know, this step um, mainly occurs when you don't have enough original training data in order to have a better performance. So uh, we'll be using a technique called back translation. So that back translation approach has overall three main steps. The first step is to translate the original language into another language. Um, that would be the temporary language. Let's say you have your original text in English. You might want to translate them into French, for example. And after performing that first step, the second one is to back translate all those texts in French to English. And at the end of the process, we will have um, all our texts the original one and the back translated one all of them in uh, in English and what might happen here is that um, the original language and the back translation might be the exact same text and you might not want to keep um, the duplicates in your data set in this case we keep only one instance of those duplicates so um, to do that we'll be using um, um, transformers and additional libraries like um, Marian uh, MT model that is a class from transformers so let's install those libraries um, to do so you can simply run pip install transformers pip install sentence space so sentence space is a good dependence because without that Marian MT model might not work so let's run it and in my computer, you can see that all the requirements are already satisfied. It might not be the case for, for you in case um, you don't already have them installed. And after that, we we'll need to perform the second step. So the second step is to configure how models. In this case, we'll need two models. The first model that will translate the original language into um, the temporary language. In this case here, it will be from English to French. And the second model will translate back um, the text um, from English or uh, from French to English. And so to perform that configuration, here is um, the Elsinsky key NLP uh, model that we can import. And this is um, the main folder where we can find those models as explained on Transformers websites. All the um, models are in this format. It, they are Elsinsky dash NLP slash obtuse dash MT dash. Here is the original language EN means English. And here is the destination like the language we want to perform the translation to here en dash fr means that all the languages um, like all the tests here will be translated from english to text so that's the name of the model and after that what we have to do is to import the tokenizer um so to use the tokenizer we can simply call Marian tokenizer from pretrained and give in parameter the name of the model and finally what we can do is to load the pretrained model so to after that we can run this cell and also and once again it might take a bit of time depending on the performance of your computer so after that we can do exactly the same for the second model that will translate from french to english so here is the instruction for that the extractions are exactly the same the only change here is that instead of english um, to french we will write french to english okay and after that we have the same instructions as we can have um, previously and then you run this cell also to get your second model so um, after we have um, performed that what we can do is to perform uh, like to do some tests in order to see um, how the translation work to do that I'll be using this text um, 
uh, like this list of text. Those are the texts that I will try to translate um, into French. So as you can see, this article aims to perform the back translation, da 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 da, until this one. And we have overall um, four texts in this list. And what we can do here um, to be able to perform those, uh, what I uh, there is one first step though, uh, which is very important. Uh, to be able to perform those translation, we need to create. Um, a mask and um, that mask is in this following format we have this our sign here is going to be the language we want to perform the translation to and also the closing arrow sign so this function is basically going to um, perform um, the, the the processing of a text so let's run this function and execute here so as you can see here this is the final list that will be taken by the model in order to perform the translation here is fr fr um, we have fr here at the beginning of each text so by using that the model will finally be able to um, perform the the translation and once we have that we can finally implement the function that will perform on the final translation uh, for the model for like for a given model so that function takes um, overall four parameters the first parameter is the batch of text that we want to translate in this case it will be um, this original text and after that we have the model the model is um, either the first model that translate from English to French or the second one the tokenizer and the language the language here is the destination language we want to perform that and once we have this one what we do is to call the format batch text um as explained previously this function will create on uh, the appropriate format for the model to perform the translation and after that at the end we have the final um, translated um, data and when we run that, we can finally execute that function into our original text and run it. It might take a bit of time for the translation. And here we have the translation in French. Um, ce, cet article vise à effectuer la traduction arrière pour l'augmentation des données texte. As you can see, everything here is uh, in French. So what we can do here then is um, to perform the back translation. So the back translation, as I said, will be the translation from um, French to English. In this case, we use the translated text, the second model, and the second model tokenizer. Okay. So after we have that, what we can do is to uh, print those information and we can see back the back translation um maybe a quick um insight here i'll copy paste that you can see on um, the difference between those information um the first one is this article aims to perform back translation for text data increase okay so that's the back translation of the text and the original text is this one this article aims to perform the back translation for text data augmentation. And the second one is, this is Umana's 25th article on Medium. He likes to give back to the community. And here we have, it is the 20th article by Zuman on Medium. He loves to give back to the community. And here, as you can see, we have, what is the difference here? This, yeah. The difference here is that it is the 25th and here the original language is uh, the original text is this is manas. You know, we have the first two information that are completely different and pay close attention to this one. We have the first model translated from English to French. 
which is a temporary process and here we have exact same information you know meaning that if we combine those information the original to back translated one we might get this one as duplicate which is something we don't want and here is where um everything comes to um to change you know um so what we're going to do is to create a function that will completely get rid of those um information that are duplicate so instead of performing all the tasks in the standalone manner it might be interesting to create a function that generates the back translation right away okay so that function i implemented that function it's going to be this one perform back translation so what back translation does is to take the batch text the original text the original language and the temporary language the original language here is english the temporary language here is french and after that what we do is to get the um temporary translated batch which is a um translation from original language to the temporary language and after that we perform the back translation the back translation here is to get back the original one to um, the previous one um, to the um, original language and um, here what we do before running this function so if I stick to this function we will get um, the back translation okay so before getting that back translation what we might want also is to get the original like to get the augmented data set at the end of the process because at the end of the day what we might want is to not perform those um step by step process but get the original text we want to perform the augmentation and as outputs get immediately the augmented data sets so to do that as i say we might need um this function so i'll put it here i'll put that function here so what that function does is to take the original text the back translated texts and combine them and it combines them by getting rid of a duplicate here we use the set function that um, remove the duplicates um, from the list okay so here is is kind of everything and after that what you can do is just call this function here um call the back translated function let's make it simple here okay so instead of returning yeah read final results so instead of returning the back translated what we can return here is to return the combine you know we return the combine of the original text which is this one and the back translated one okay so if you run this function and after running this function what we can do is to get the final final information okay so perform back translation oops with this is our back translation function so what do we have here just call function and run it the process is going on and here is the final result um at the beginning we had only four tags and at the end of the process we got seven you know we and also we don't have a duplicate anymore because we get rid of that duplicate so that's overall uh, one way of increasing um, the size of your training data if you love this video give it a thumbs up and also feel free to share uh, with the community um, uh, also, you will find in the description uh, section the link to um, the source code and everything needed. Thank you for watching and take care. Goodbye.